welcome to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life and today I have a Cross 7 um, website review for you. Cross 7 is a digitized uh, version of the Claritas Publishing memory work. Claritas is similar to Classical Conversations Foundations program um, in that it is a grammar stage memory work um, curriculum program. However, it is based on four cycles instead of three and it aligns with the story of the world. So I was contacted by Laura at Cross 7 and asked to provide my honest review of the Cross 7 website. So I'll be showing you the website and taking you through that. I have been given a link that I will share with you at the end of the video which allows you to, um, to get into the website and um, use it for four weeks for free so that you can decide if it's a good fit for your family. Although I was not compensated for providing my honest review of Cross 7's website, I was given access to the website so that I could use it and uh, create a review for you. All right, so this is the homepage of Cross 7. So again, Cross 7 is associated with um, Claritas, um, basically because what they have done is they have a subscription website for the musical memory work, which is created by Claritas Publishing. So. They have not um, created the songs, but what they've done is they've made videos um, that, ha that place the songs with some visual aids, some pictures and things like that so that students can watch it. So if you are a former CC family, then it is similar to the CC app. It's similar to that. It ha it's more robust and it has more content than that, but it is similar to that. Okay, so here's the subscription information. So basically you're determining which cycle you want to do. They have cycle one through four. So it's got more information. There are four cycles there. Instead of 24 weeks, there are 28 weeks. So there's a lot more memory work than what Classical Conversations has. So you're going to choose which cycle you want to do that year. And the price is $11 per month. And again, you could just do this. You wouldn't have to buy the guides and the maps and all the other things. Um, unless you just wanted to have both. So I kind of see this Cross 7 as being useful in two different ways. One would be for a co-op leader because you are allowed to start your own co-op with Claritas. Um, it's not restrictive like classical conversations. You can just decide to start a co-op, use the memory work, and it's more like curriculum um, than how CC is. So you're not required to start a specific um, co-op with certain specific rules. So one way that you could use Cross 7 would be to lead classes in a co-op. For instance, the tutor could simply, um, you know, use a projector or a TV to project the memory work to the class. Um, and another way that this could be used would be for an individual family for the kids to review the memory work or to connect maybe to your TV and review it with your whole family. Um, as part of your morning time or your group time um, during your homeschool. So that's kind of how this would be used. Um, so I do have a code for you if you would like to try this out. I will give you that uh, link at the end of the video. Uh, and that code will allow you to have four weeks free trial of Cross 7 website. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the memory work. So first thing we do is decide which cycle. I've been looking at cycle four. Um, so you'll notice that um, there are extras here, this creative page. You've got uh, materials for the opening, like the Pledge of Allegiance um, and in the Pledge to the Bible and things like that. So if you're doing a co-op, you can use some of those materials or you could use that with your own kids. They've got fun links. I see that as kind of being like classical conversations connected, um, that kind of thing. This week, this link here goes to a weekly link. So if you want to see all the memory work for week one or week two, you would click here and you would have one video that kind of goes through everything all together. Or you can go back here to where this, the separate subjects are and you can look at a week individually. So you will see that in addition to the seven subjects that um, Classical Conversations has, in addition, there would be scripture and hymns. Now, with Claritas, you, you do have freedom that you don't have with CC, so you can decide even within a co-op which, um, which topics you want to do and which ones you don't want to do. So you could decide in your co-op that you only want to do history and science, for example, and you really are not interested in doing Latin or English grammar or whatever. 
So it's completely up to you and you can do the same thing obviously in your own home school. So, but these are all of the, um, the content that is offered. So I'm gonna, and all of it is set to music and all of it has videos. So I just kind of want to show you some of these. They do have hand motions that you can use. And these top links here, these are links to the videos. Philippians 2, 14. favorite on the website. I think I'm going to memorize that and just sort of sing that around my house whenever my kids are grumbling and complaining about chores or their um, homeschool work. Um, that's definitely my favorite little song on here. All right, so you can see that Claritas is set up where there is going to be Bible memory work every week that you can choose to do. And each one of these, all the way down through week 28, they all have the video. I'm going to back up here and I'm going to show you some of the other. Let's look at history. Um, so again, you have some fun links here and they have um, a reading list, science video portal, there's a game, and then they've got links by week on here. So just different things that you can do. So again, this really reminds me, it kind of reminds me of a half a hundred acre wood and classical conversations connected. Kind of if you would mesh those two, um, you would have a, a similar feel to this um, with the book lists and all that kind of stuff. So I think it, it's going to feel familiar to you if you have used um, classical conversations in the past. Um, okay, so they have their um, memory work here and they also have some um, quizzes so that's kind of uh, neat it says that all of the quizzes aren't there they're they're currently being created in um, cycle four so they're not all there but um, i wanted to give you an example of a history sentence <laughs> During Queen Victoria's reign from 1837 to 1901, the British Empire colonized so much of the world that it was said the sun never sets on the British Empire. The sun never sets on the British Empire. Okay, so each time that it plays, it does play twice, but I am kind of cutting that off just so that this video wouldn't go on and on forever, but it just like CC, it does um, go through twice. Then this is an optional quiz, um, so your students can go through and click the right answers here and just keep going. Um, all right, so that would be, um, it's, it's basically just taking out a word and you're filling in the word. So um, kind of like what you might do in class at CC. Um, one of the things I noticed too is there's a lot of content in here that's not covered in classical conversations. So that was kind of interesting to me as well. So you notice the potato famine, the history sentences are based on story of the world volumes one through four. So that's kind of neat if you're using that as your history spine and then using this along with it, I think that would be a really nice fit. Um, I was impressed with Latin with Claritas. There's so much more than what is included um, in, um, in classical conversations. So uh, it's interesting there to me. The Lord's Prayer uh, is in here. I thought I'd show you that. It's 
look at English grammar. English grammar was really robust, I felt like, as well, because it, it almost really looked like all of essentials in here. Um, and again, you've got so much, you know, you've got 28 weeks here to cover. So then we move on to science. Um, they've got hand motions if you want to use hand motions. Absolute zero or zero Kelvin. Absolute zero or zero Kelvin. Molecular movement stops at a temperature called absolute zero or zero Kelvin. Absolute zero or zero Kelvin. Um, they do skip counting to 12 and they do the 15s and the 25s squares and cubes and then they're doing some other things like order of operations what is the order of operations parentheses exponents multiplication division addition subtraction a common mnemonic for the order of operations is please excuse my dear aunt sally Okay, and geography has some little quizzes, so that's kind of neat as well. Okay, this one is Modern Europe. Modern Europe, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Netherlands. Okay, so here's the geography quiz that they offer. All right, so it's got a combination of show me and tell me on here. Okay, and then the hymns. I'll show you one of the hymns. So it looks like these are done over the course of several weeks. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from Okay, so let's look at the timeline. I'll show you week one. If you click on this um, line here, this will show you the timeline spoken, um, and that is the way it's done um, on Claritas. There's no um, timeline song. However, a mom in one of the co-ops did make a timeline song, and I'll show you that too, but this timeline song is only available on Cross 7. So first I'll show you this. So this is what was just originally made, um, a digitized format. Um, and then the song was added later. Creation, fall in the garden, Cain and Abel, the flood, the Tower of Babel, unification of Upper and Lower Egypt, 3000 BC, the Old Kingdom in Egypt, Indus Valley Civilization. So they have the entire timeline song here or just with the music so you can practice saying the words. And then they also have it uh, by week. So if you click on this, it's gonna look like what we just saw, but instead of just saying the words, they're gonna be singing the song. Okay, so the timeline song is different. Different. It's not one long song. So it's like a song for every week. Um, and that was done on purpose because the lady that wrote the song felt like if, if it was all sounding the same, it might be confusing for kids to kind of skip over a part or whatever. So I'm going to show you. It is all in the same key, um, but the songs are different. So I want to go ahead and show you week two just so you can see the difference.
Okay, so you probably noticed there there's a lot more um, biblical timeline events that are included in this timeline from Claritas. So that's how the timeline works, and so you can see that it's broken down. It actually has it through for 24 weeks um, here, and then, let's see, this would be the whole time. I'm not going to open that. That would be the whole timeline with the words and music, and this would just be the music. So I've just given you an overview of Cycle 4 on Cross 7's website, and now I'm going to take you to Claritas Publishing just so you can see the other three cycles and just um, be able to make a choice. So cycle one is ancients, um, goes through the fall of Rome. Cycle two is the Middle Ages, goes through explorers of the new world. Cycle three goes through the California gold rush, and then cycle four goes through recent times. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the Cross 7 website? Well, I really liked it. I thought it was easy to use. I feel like if you're gonna be using Claritas, um, and you don't mind paying the monthly fee, I think it's a no-brainer to use it. I think it would be super easy for kids to use, and I think it would be a really good fit if you were using Story of the World. Um, so I think it could be a good fit for families that really don't have a problem with using some limited amount of technology in their homeschool. So I thought the website was really well done. I thought that the, uh, the videos were engaging, and I really loved the little quizzes that had been added to geography and history. I also liked the way the fun links were added in there to some of the science projects and book lists and the fact that it was all in one place. So, and I also like the, um, the ability to decide just to use Cross 7 so that if you did want to manage your expenses with your homeschooling curriculum, you really wouldn't have to purchase a guide. You wouldn't have to purchase all the timeline cards and all the extras if you, again, didn't mind using the technology, you really could get by with only using Cross 7 and still do the Claritas um, publishing memory work. So will I be using Cross 7 with my family this year? Probably not. And the reason why is my oldest daughter, Katie, is in 10th grade. She's definitely aged out um, of that, that level of a memory work program. And my youngest daughter, my other daughter, Sophie, she has severe childhood apraxia of speech. She's a special needs student. And I don't think she's quite ready for that much memory work. Um, she was really never able to do it with classical conversations. She'd pick up a few words, but it's probably just not a good fit for her at this time. However, I am considering using it with her in the future. I would definitely choose that over classical conversations if I do choose to use a memory work program with Sophie in the future. Okay, so this link will give you a four weeks free trial of the Cross 7 website. I will also link it in the description box below so you can just click on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.